We have noted a matter of grave concern lately, and this is a matter to do with the biggest opposition political party in our country, and this is the Patriotic Front, the recent uh, political party that was in office, the one that this administration took over from. Now we are a bit concerned and we are forced to come out to state the correct position because we have noticed that in their discourse, in their talk, they are bringing in the name of this administration as wanting to see them uh, deregistered. And more so, they are bringing the name of the President of the Republic of Zambia into disrepute by falsely accusing him to be behind the problems they are having with the Registrar of Societies. And we want to make it clear that far from the truth, their issues have got nothing to do with this administration and they have got nothing to do with the President of the Republic of Zambia. We say so because we will give you the correct position and background. Their troubles with the Registrar of Societies span back as far back as April of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, April of 2021, the Patriotic Front were in office. The UPND as a political party was in opposition. President Akainde Hichirema was in opposition and still running around and jumping over tear gases and so on and getting arrested there every now and then by the very patriotic front when they started having problems with the registrar societies. What is simply there is that the registrar of societies has asked them to put their house in order. For any organization that is registered under the Act, the Societies Act, with the Registrar of Societies, you need to have office bearers registered at the Office of the Registrar of Societies. Basically, if you are a political party, for example, you need three things banked at the Registrar of Societies. Number one, you need a list of office bearers who ought to be 10 as a minimum or more. Those 10 require to have two important documents attached to their names, a national registration card and a security clearance. These are to ensure that you as a political party who may one day end up being a governing party and form government in this country, you are not a congregation of foreigners. So you ought to have your national registration card green for that matter, and your security clearance to show that you have no criminal record. Then also, you need to bank your constitution as an organization which stipulates the rules by which you govern yourselves. So you bank it with the registrar of societies and state to the registrar, these are the rules through which we shall govern ourselves. The Patriotic Front, like any other political party, did the same. They went and banked their documents with the Registrar of Societies. They went and had their convention. When you have a convention, you may change office bearers and you give notice to the Registrar of Societies that you have changed office bearers, you mention the ones you have changed and you also mention the ones you have replaced with. And you even pay. So you have a certificate that shows clearly that this certificate is in line with having changed office bearers. Or if you have amended your constitution also, you retrieve the old constitution, you bank the new constitution with the amendments and you have your receipt. In April of 2021, the Patriotic Front, while it's in office, while it's in power, did take names to the Registrar of Societies and said we have held our convention 
and these seven names have been dropped and they have been replaced with the following seven names. The list which was at the Registrar of Societies before their convention were showing that they had President Edgar Lungu as President, Mr. Richard Chanda M, Mr. Davis Mwila as General Secretary, uh, Bernadette Mvula A, Inonge Wina, Daniel Miyambo, Ephraim Chisumbe, John Mutekenya C, Sylvia Chalikosa, and Davis Chan. Then they submitted a new list. And I think you've all seen that list because it has been circulated by one of them. I think it's Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba that states to the Zambian people, no, 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 look, we submitted here the 10 names and we, the registered site is have them. The 10 names they submitted are President Ed Garungu, Honorable Davis Mwila, Mr. Ngongamukupa, Mrs. Monica Mwale Mwansa, Mrs. Annie Nirenda Tisha, Honorable Davis Trama, Honorable Muimba Malama, Honorable Emery Kavanshi, Honorable Freedom Skazwe, and Honorable Stephen Campion. They submitted these as the new names. Now remember, as I stated before, when you submit names at the research sites, they must be accompanied by two documents. That is your NRC and your police clearance or security clearance, if you want. Of these, and this is where they, are, they have a problem with the registrar. Firstly, President Edgar Lungu, whom they still state to date that is their party president, is on record having written that he has resigned as political party president for the Patriotic Front and that he has left active politics. His letter is here, I have it here. Signed by himself, having resigned. Davis Mwira is in public domain. We all know that he also stepped down as Secretary General of the party, Patriotic Front. But that aside, let's take the na 10 names that they have put there. We have said that they ought to be accompanied by NRCs and they ought to have security clearance. So President Edgar Rungu checks out. Honorable Davis Mwira checks out. Honorable Davis Chama checks out. And Honorable Mwimba Malama checks out. Meaning that attached to their names, they have the NRC and they have the police clearance or security clearance, if you want. But Mr. Nonga Mukupa, to his name, there is no NRC and there is no security clearance. Mrs. Monica Mwale Mwansa, there is no security clearance. Mrs. Annie Yelenda Tisha, there is no security clearance. Honorable Emmerin Kabanshi, there is no security clearance. And Honorable Kabanshi is in prison. Honorable Freedom Skazwe, there is no security clearance. Honorable Stephen Campiongo, the former minister of Home Affairs, the former minister in charge of the security clearance, has no security clearance. So this list, therefore, is incomplete and cannot be banked as a list of new office bearers. So now they've been having this tussle with the Registrar of Societies back and forth over this list to rectify it to ensure that everyone is in compliance and the law has been followed. In all this back and forth, since 2021 in April, when PF was in office, President Akainde Hichilema was not involved. The UPND as an administration of government was not involved. Why is it that today, two years later, when they have failed to rectify the problems that they've been having a back and forth with, with the legislative societies, today they want to claim it is the UPND that wants us out of office. It is President Hakainde that wants us, wants us deregistered. How? 
and start learning. You can't have a situation where the problem you have failed to solve yourselves and when the time has come for you to face the reality of what you have been doing, you want to turn around and say, this is the man that has caused the problem. How has he caused the problem when he was not in office? You were in office. This only speaks to the impunity with which the PF administration broke the law with so much impunity. Disregard for the national constitution and disregard for their own constitution. You all remember how at one time we sat as a nation in awe and watched a sitting Republican president declare and interpret the Constitution and say that the ministers, his cabinet, will remain in office even beyond the dissolution of parliament. You remember that? The man who said, lawyer, I'm a lawyer, I know these things. But the court said otherwise, and even ordered that the people <coughs> pay back and vacate office, breaking the law with impunity. Now, when they are asked to do the correct thing, they claim that they are being victimized. Nobody is victimizing them. All they are being asked is correct the situation. But instead of just correcting the situation quietly, on one hand they rise and blame the government and blame President Hakainde and suggest and insinuate that he's the one doing this for them or at them. But on the other hand, as they show the Zambian people this list and claim, no, we have complied. Here is our list. I've told you what is wrong with this list. It's not even submitted yet or submitted. As they are showing the Zambian people this, but because they are too, I don't want to use the word crooked, but because they rarely tell the truth, they live in their lives. Yesterday, yesterday, they took names to the police for clearance. These are the names the PF took to police for clearance yesterday, so that they get security clearance. Eight names. One, Rafael Nakachinda. Two, Given Luwinda. Three, Nkanduluo. Four, Kangwa George Chisenga. Five, Jean Kapata. Six, Emeline Kabanshi. Seven, Freedom Skazwe. And eight, Samuel Mukupa. And these names have been submitted to the police. There is totally nothing wrong with them doing this. They are following the law. And the law is very clear. To get security clearance, it takes 21 working days. So, these names will be clear within 21 working days. The Registrar of Societies for the last two years has been having a back and forth with the PF, wrote them a letter, at one point that gave them 21 days to sort out their problems, they ignored. And later on, they asked for 14 days, they asked for 14 days, she gave them seven days. So now, as it stands, they have seven days in which to comply. Seven working days. So you have to count seven working days from that date I want to believe plus or minus is that other Monday, not this coming Monday, but the other Monday. So the law will just be followed. Seven days will be seven days. Just as we remember going through an episode of 14 days is 14 days. So seven days will be seven days and 21 working days also will be 21 working days and everybody will just follow the law. But we just want to make it very clear that whatever they are going through has got nothing to do with government. It has nothing to do with President Hakainde Hichirema. It has nothing to do with UPND administration. This is a matter that has everything to do with themselves 
that started within their reign and regime. And these are issues they were facing even as they were in office. And only speaks to the fact that they have always abrogated the law with impunity and now they are being asked to do the right thing. So if there's any complaint they have, their complaint is that we are so used to doing the wrong thing, we are now being asked to do the right thing and they don't want to do the right thing. I want to also make it clear that in the event, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, in the event that the Patriotic Front gets deregistered, it will not be the first party to be deregistered. Under the reign of the Patriotic Front, 19 political parties were deregistered during their reign, the 10 years in office. 19 political parties were deregistered. You will recall the case of the MND with 53 members of parliament. It was deregistered until it complied. After it complied, it was reinstated. You remember the issue of the Democratic Party? It was deregistered. It had to take the DP to go to court to get reinstated. You recall the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, it was deregistered. It had to go to the court and appeal to the court and it was reinstated. That's not the first time that a political party may be deregistered. Secondly, the claim that if you deregister the patriotic front, then, you know, democracy has come to a standstill because then you are creating a one-party state. The patriotic front is not the only opposition political parties, they are several and they are many. So even if they may get deregistered or even if they get deregistered, it doesn't mean that democracy has died. There are many other political parties that are on the ground providing checks and balances. And thirdly, I've also heard assertions that if they get deregistered, then we are going to go for by-elections in all the areas where we have members of parliament that belong to the PF in all the areas that we have councillors that belong to the PF. If that were the case during that time, when they deregistered, for example, MMD with 53 members of parliament, that would have been the case. We would have gone to buy elections. We would have gone to buy elections for 53 parliamentary seats. Because the constitution then allowed it. The constitution now, in Article 72, nine reads and this is the article that deals with uh, vacation of office as member of parliament and dissolution of political parties article 72.9 which deals with vacation of office as member of parliament and dissolution of political party it reads and I quote if a political party is dissolved, a member of parliament shall retain the member's seat as an independent member. End of court. I repeat. Article number 72, 9. Reads and I quote. If a political party is dissolved, a member of parliament shall retain the member's seat as an independent member member. Now, if in this case and spirit of the constitution, dissolution and deregistration mean the same, we can't tell. We are not in the habit of interpreting the constitution because it is in the province of the court. So the courts of law may need to interpret if dissolution and deregistration mean the same thing. But for now, I want to allay those fears that the possibility is high that in the event of a deregistration, then we are going for a widespread by elections near to a general elections. We don't believe so. But the courts may need to interpret this. What we wanted to state today is very clearly so that the problems the Patriotic Front are having with the Registrar of Societies
have got nothing to do with this government, have got nothing to do with this president, has everything to do with their impunity and disregard of the law during the time they are in office and even when they are out of office. Let them put their house in order and leave the government out of it, leave the president out of it and just deal with their issues. They have already started dealing with them, although they want to do that secretly away from the people, meanwhile while hoodwinking the people and claiming that we already have complied and here are the names. Wenye. Wenye ngako antwa. What is wrong with telling the truth? So we urge you, as a political party, that we need you in this democratic dispensation. We need to have a strong opposition. Therefore, we urge you as PF, quickly work on your matters so that we do not see you deregistered. Be around. Every government requires a strong opposition. And you are a strong opposition, and we need you in this democratic dispensation. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.